All right, guys, so we got to talk about YouTube and what it's basically doing to my channel. And as you can see from what I'm showing you right now, these are the views from January, the, the month of January of 2019. And I'm basically in this video, I'm going to go over how YouTube is basically throttling my channel and basically is killing it as we are speaking right now. And a lot of people would chalk up my channel's dyingness to how boring or how monotoned I sound in my videos. But I'm going to show you proof of how that's just not possible. The uh, rate of which my channel had basically ran off the cliff is not natural. It has to be automatic and YouTube is basically throttling my channel and I'm going to prove that here. Because as we can see from right here, the views from January, the month of January, was 284,000. Now if we go up here and we're going to change it around and go to uh, the month of February, the views from February of 2019, again we see uh, 600, uh, 672,000. And we go from there, we go into the month, uh, the month of March and we see what the views of March were. And we see 778,000 in the entire month, which is good. And it's really, really good. But then we go into April. We go to the month of April. And I think this is my last good month before YouTube steps on me. But we go from 778,000 in, in March. And then we go to April. And then we see it drops a little bit. Not terrible, but not good. You know, not, not something that was from the month before. And that is 471,000. Now, the month of May is where you YouTube really steps up their throttling and we look from here the total views in May which is only 31,204 views in the entire month and see the thing is my YouTube schedule didn't change I kept uploading two or more videos a day and then just like a drop of a hat the views dropped the views were basically non-existent and it, and it is the same thing with the subscribers. The subscribers, I, I, again, I, in January I was gaining like 600, 700, maybe even 1,000 subscribers. In January, I kept going up until I think I reached my, my, uh, my peak at around 3,000 subscribers a month. And then again, from the month of January, we, we can see that I almost gained 4,000 subscribers in the month of January entirely. But then we go to the next month month we go to April, well, 1,700, not good, but not bad, you know, st still a lot of subscribers. And then we go to May, and then it's in the negative. It, it has a huge drop. And again, nothing of my YouTube uploading schedule has changed. I still uploaded the same amount I did in January than I was doing in May. And obviously a drop like that from just two months previous, again, uh, n nearly 4,000 subscribers gained in the month of January. And then two months later, uh, I'm in the red of 46. I'm losing subscribers. I've only gained total was a 78 subscribers in the month of May, two months later. Again, we go back. January, 3,917 subscribers gained. April was 1,750 subscribers gained. And then May, only 78. That does not seem like something that is going, like dying naturally. If my channel was dying naturally, it would have been slowing down. It would have been, again, if we, if we go back to April, it would have been 1,750. And then the next month in May, it would be like maybe 15, 1,400 subscribers gained and then the next month after that it would be a thousand maybe 900 subscribers gained and then you you, you can see it kind of going down 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 but in my case, again, 1750 one month and then only 78 the next month. So obviously there is something arise, that there is something happening there. And I know exactly what is happening with my YouTube channel. And what is happening is that this right here, this is what's happening to my YouTube channel. This is how YouTube basically cooks itself because it's basically telling you, yeah, this, yeah, yeah, we're throttling your entire channel. And this is what's happening. Impressions and how they led to views and watch time. This is one of the analytics in their new beta studio, which I hate, by the way. 
the new YouTube studio beta a analytics is garbage. Just keep it out to where it was the, the old classic one and I'll be happy. But, but what's what's got me really mad is that YouTube is basically forcing us to have this new studio beta garbage, which sucks because everything just looks compressed and just it, it looks awful. But anyway, as you can see from the entire year from 2018 to 2019, I had 14.5 million impressions, which led to 1.3 million views, which led to 5.5 million watch minutes. But then again, up here, which says impressions, YouTube was recommending my content 90% of the time. And then we jump into just the last past week, we see a huge drop, a humongous drop. Now we see that YouTube is recommending my content 35.2% of the time. And that has continuously gone down and down and down and down. Before it was like 45%, 48%, then it was 40% and now it's 35%. I wouldn't doubt that there will come a point in time where YouTube is completely and basically left my channel out to die. And essentially this is the main reason why I really haven't been uploading as much or frequently as I used to. And the reason is, is that it's demoralizing. It is, it pulls at your heartstrings. You know, you put in so much time and effort into building Building a YouTube channel and it gets uh, semi-successful like mine was I was getting you know 4,000 subscribers a month at one point almost a million views a month at one point and then it just suddenly drops it suddenly YouTube is basically stepping on you and saying no you're not allowed to grow anymore because you're an independent content creator you're someone we don't like you know and this is this is not only me this is happening to a ton of independent content creators and a lot of them don't even make political content there was a guy not too long ago who was making like kitty cat uh, videos and stuff he was a pet youtuber i guess the mean kitty i think he's called and he made a video basically saying yeah i'm, I'm leaving youtube because youtube is throttling my channel and his content had nothing to do with political uh, political analysis his content his YouTube channel had nothing to do with anything political period and it is not just uh, political con uh, content creators it is independent content creators that is the entirety of people who are not bought and sold people who don't play nice with the legacy media people who are not missing link media like the Young Turks for instance Every independent content creator, even liberal ones, it's not only a conservative versus liberal thing. You have uh, liberal and progressive voices like the David Pakman show. You have the Minority Report. You have all of these progressive liberal content creators and uh, semi-independent content creators who are filling the burn, who YouTube is basically stepping on at this point. And the simple reason is this. The mainstream media, news sites like CNN, MSNBC, and even Fox News, yes, even Fox News, fuck Fox News, but anyway, these mainstream news outlets are dying. The old media is dying. The New York Times, the Washington Post, the Huff Post, CNN, MSNBC, and even Fox News is dying. They are all losing the game because one, they're old, one, nobody trusts them, and two, they're just not hip to the same lingo. So all of these combined are basically putting massive, massive amounts of pressure on YouTube to silence their competitors. And who are their competitors? People like me, people who report on independent content, uh, political analysis and stuff. And it's not only the censorship, the throttling has not only reached political commentators. It's It's gone even further than that. Yes, political commentators get the, the worst uh, treatment the worst possible censorship and throttling yes of course but independent content creators as a whole it doesn't matter what you well you know what, what kind of videos you're making if you're independent you're going to be throttled you're going to be given the hammer to not as bad as i'm getting it but you're going to get it nonetheless and again, I don't blame YouTube. You know, YouTube is not the boogeyman in this situation because they're a business. They're only trying to do what's best for them. And right now, what's best for them is keeping the mainstream news outlets happy in order so that these mainstream news outlets don't 
uh, attack YouTube, saying that they're a safe haven for extremists and racists and garbage like that. And every time the mainstream news outlets attack uh, YouTube, there's another ad apocalypse, and YouTube doesn't want to lose money. So I understand it from that point of view, of course, of course. But my warning to YouTube is simple. Yes, you should worry about the advertisers because they're the ones who keep the lights on, basically. To try to appease the mainstream news outlets, CNN, MSNBC, The Washington Post, New York Times, you know all of the scum names, you keep appeasing them YouTubers like the mean kitty who has over a million subscribers left the platform. He left and he probably went elsewhere. He probably went to BitChute or Daily Motion, which all of those links, you, you can follow me on all of those, by the way. I have a BitChute account, I have a Daily Motion account. Links, link, links to those will be in the description box below. Please go follow me on there before YouTube uh, deletes my channel entirely. But the more YouTube implements these kind of draconian policies, the more independent content creators will leave the platform and go somewhere else. And these mainstream news hacks like Jimmy Kimmel and Stephen Colbert, these shitwads, they did not make the platform and they will not be here to keep it afloat. And I don't want to see YouTube go the way of MySpace. I really don't want that to happen because I like YouTube, despite its very, you know, left-leaning policies and stuff. But I like it nonetheless. It's a good platform. It works really well. And it's, you know, something that has never happened before in history. And I really, really enjoy the platform. And this is why I don't want it to go the way of the dinosaur. But as you can see from the evidence I've given you, YouTube is throttling my channel. My channel is essentially, as of right now, dying, you losing subscribers, and that is because YouTube is again throttling me, and there's no no new people are seeing my content. No new people are visiting the channel because YouTube is basically put me up to die, basically, which is it is what it is. And I'll keep making content because eventually YouTube will overturn this policy very slowly. But who knows? I mean, I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Again, I'm not going to stop making content. And again, you can follow me on other channels. BitChute and Daily Motion will be in the links in the description box below. But either way, you guys go ahead and let me know what you thought about the, all of this in the comment section. And that's about it for this video. Peace out, guys.